This picture is of Kate on the morning of the day she had her babies and uh, what made me take a closer look at her was if you look at back towards her tail and her hips you can see how sunken in they are and um, right there around her hip bones and then if you look down at the base of her tail you can see how there's almost a crease and uh, her tail ligaments had disappeared that day so um, I knew that she was going to probably have babies within the, within the next 12 to 24 hours the other thing I noticed here, if you look at her udder, um, she had had a, a small udder for a week or so leading up to today, um, but you can see how full and tight her udder is in this picture, and that is, was another indicator that we were gonna have babies very soon. She just in general was acting like she just uh, was very restless, was getting up and down a lot. Um, Kate is a very affectionate goat, but she was really over the top affectionate um, on the day that she had her baby. So that was also a change in demeanor for her. Kate is the goat that's right there next to the gate. If you look at her tail, you see how she's holding it up. Oftentimes, does that are in labor will walk around and they, they, were hold, they will hold up their tail. Um, so that was another indicator that there was, that we were in early labor. Um, her actual labor progressed very quickly though. So from the time I started shooting the video until she laid down and started pushing was only about 23 minutes. So it went very fast. You can see here that she was just coming up to me, just wanting loves, wanting pets, wanting rubs. This is how it was the entire time she was in labor. She just wanted to be right next to me. And this is where I noticed that she was starting to really get uncomfortable. She was laying down. She would stay down for a minute or so and then get back up. She got up and laid down very, um, or several times in the matter of about 10 minutes. And you can look at her face right here and see that she's just really uncomfortable. Right here is where I knew we were getting very close. Um, she wasn't quite pushing yet, but you could tell that her, be her belly was balling up and we were getting really close to baby time.
In this video here, you can see this is where she gets her first real pushing contraction and you can see her just start to work with them. Here in this one, you can really see she's really starting to work with the contractions now. Um, it's still going to be several more minutes before you can see anything at the opening, but she's really starting to work with the pushing contractions now. In this clip right here, if you look really close, you can just start to see um, the first bag starting to make an appearance just a little bit. And she's only been pushing for about five minutes at this point, so she's doing a really good job. But you can just start to see the baby starting to make an appearance. Just waiting to see the bubble come out so I can make sure the kids are positioned good. And she'll get up and stretch.
always exciting when the babies are born. She'll probably get up and down several more times. It's right around this point, um, you'll see the bubble starting to come out. That's the bag of waters that you see. And it's usually at this point that you should see a nose and two little feet. And that tells you that the baby is in a good position. Um, I'm watching closely and I'm not seeing um, a nose or feet, but the baby's progressing, so I'm not worried too much at this point. Um, 
I will tell you at this point that this first baby was completely breached, but she was a rock star pushing it out. So um, I didn't realize until the baby was completely out that it had actually been breached. So it's at this point that I realize that um, baby number one is, is definitely breech um, and as soon as it's born I notice that it's a little girl so our first doe is out and it's a girl and I'm just putting the baby over by mom so she can lick and start to clean it. And then right here, um, you notice there's another bubble coming. This is baby number two is on the way. And um, she's still looking the first one and the con pushing contractions are already working on the second baby. Um, the second baby, I can see two feet, that those two white things right there are the bottoms of the feet. Um, I can tell that this baby is actually much bigger than the first one, which is in my experience, the big babies are born first, but you know, they can be positioned however, um, but she's really getting into the pushing contraction on this one. And that's my hand there. I'm just waiting for the right moment. Um, as soon as the shoulders are cleared, I typically break the amniotic sac if it hasn't already broken, um, just to clear the mucus and everything away from the baby's mouth and nose so that it can breathe. And I'm just using clean straw. Um, the bedding had just been swapped out, so the straw is very clean, but I was just using clean straw to wipe the fluid away from the baby's mouth. Um, I didn't have time to go in and get towels. Uh, her labor progressed very quickly, so, um, but it's good. Clean straw is just fine to do the initial clean off. In this first, I'm sorry, this second baby was a solid black buck. He had frosted ears. Um, he was definitely a, a big baby. And we thought she was done, but she had a surprise for us. So in this video, you can see that baby number three is on its way out and she had actually not been an active participant in pushing yet. Um, she's just now starting to really get into it, um, but we were shocked. She did not look like she was having three babies. Thank you. 
in this video you can see the babies are really starting to um, become active they're starting to make the first motions of standing up and getting on their feet job, um, it's amazing how quickly the young animals get up on their feet and get that first drink of milk but it's a very important that they get up and nurse within the first um, couple of hours and get that colostrum the in their belly right there in the center is the boy and the, the two brown ones are girls this one's doing really good. <clears throat> Looks like this one's In this video clip, you can see that all three babies are up on their feet. This little brown doe, I love, you can always, already see her confirmation showing through, but the two little girls job, are Mama. sharing one side of the udder. It's like one drinks and then knocks it off and the other one drinks. And the little buck is on the other side. So we're just keeping a close eye on her. But I ended up milking some colostrum off of mom um, because she was very full and tight. But there's all three babies. Um, everyone's doing really good. Thank you. 